Hey there, it's Christian from Rackerd, and in this video, we'll compare the most popular web stacks such as LAMP, LEMP, and LOMP. We'll discuss these web stacks in detail and help you determine which one is right for your project. And if you're a website owner or developer, you may have heard these terms before, but you may not be familiar with what they actually mean. So if you're ready to choose the right web stack for your project, stick around and let's get into it. All three web stacks are used for building dynamic web applications and have their own strengths and weaknesses. But before we dive into the comparison, let's first discuss what a web stack is. A web stack is a collection of software used to run web applications. A typical web stack consists of our main components, an operating system, a web server, a database management system, and programming language. Since now you know what a web stack is, let's get started with the LAMP stack. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, or Maria Database, and PHP. LAMP is one of the oldest and most widely used web stacks, and it is well established in the development community. Apache is the web server used in LAMP, known for its flexibility and extensive features. MySQL, or MariaDB, is the database management system used in LAMP, and it's a popular open source relational database. PHP is the server-side scripting language used in LAMP, and it is known for its ease of use and popularity in the web development community. LAMP can be a good choice for products requiring flexibility and customization, and for developers already familiar with the stack. Next, the LEMP stack, L-E-M-P that is, which stands for Linux, Nginx, MySQL, or Maria Database, and PHP. LEMP is similar to LAMP, but uses Nginx as the web server instead of Apache. Nginx is known for its high performance and scalability, especially when handling simultaneous connections. MySQL or Maria Database and PHP are the same as they were in LAMP. LAMP can be a good choice for products requiring high performance and scalability, especially for applications that handle many simultaneous connections. Finally, we have the LOMP stack, that is L-O-M-P, which stands for Linux, Open Lightspeed, MySQL or Maria Database and PHP. LOMP is similar to LEMP, that is L-E-M-P, but it uses Open Lightspeed as the web server instead of Nginx. Open Lightspeed is a newer web server known for its high performance and lightweight nature. MySQL or Maria Database and PHP are the same as they are in LAMP and LEMP. LOMP can be a good choice for developers who prefer Open Lightspeed over Nginx, or those needing a web server with specific features or performance characteristics. In summary, LAMP, LEMP, LOMP are popular web stacks for building dynamic web applications. LAMP is flexible and well-established. LEMP is known for its high performance and scalability, while LOMP is a newer stack that uses Open Lightspeed as the web server. So which one is right for you? Well, it really depends on your specific need. LAMP might be the way to go if you're looking for flexibility and a well-established technology. LAMP might be the best choice if you are expecting high traffic and want a web server that uses fewer resources. And if you prefer a newer lightweight web server, LAMP might be a good fit. If you ask me, my choice depends on the specific requirements of what the project is that I'm gonna be working on and my personal expertise. Let's say I am more experienced with the LAMP stack and I just started an e-commerce store and want to start fast then I will probably choose LAMP. On the other hand, if I will be working on an ongoing and existing large e-commerce store that is high traffic, I could use LAMP because it has those kind of benefits of the stability of Apache web server while having the performance of Nginx. So that's it. I hope this comparison helped you choose the right stack for your project. And whatever you choose, remember that Racknerd supports all three web stacks for your hosting needs because all of our VPS hosting services come with full root access, which means you can configure your environment exactly how you like. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more content like this in the near future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.